guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my jerk Cornish hen in the oven. Alright, but before we do that, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Alright, and if you'd like any of the items used in our video, let's go ahead and click that link in our bio and you'll be able to purchase any of the items that you see us use in our videos. All right, we do get a kickback from that. So just click that link, make a purchase, and we'll get a little something, something from that. All right, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for our jerk Cornish hen. All right, so we have our jerk seasoning, our jerk marinade. We have some Laurie season salt, some Jamaican all-purpose seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and we have some paprika as well for just a little bit of um, color. And we have our two Cornish hens here. All right, so I've already washed it, cleaned it, and I'm gonna now go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to the chicken so that the seasoning will stick, all right? So let's go ahead and add that. And also for this jerk um, Cornish hen, we're gonna go ahead and do it in the, um, in the oven. We're gonna do it on a rack, all right? So, and in order to, to, to prevent the chicken from drying out, we're gonna be using a water bath. That means we're gonna be putting a baking tray below the chicken and the rack with water in it so that it creates a steam that will prevent the chicken from drying out. All right, I'm trying to get this as close as I can to traditional jerk chicken and Traditional jerk chicken, you do not cover it when you're doing it in the oven or on the grill, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and get our seasoning going and I'll show you exactly how this is done. Now, we're gonna be seasoning to taste, all right? Because um, it's all dependent on what you like. The seasoning I'm using doesn't necessarily have to be the same seasoning that you use, all right? So you, you basically season to taste. And remember that it's a whole chicken, even though it's small and it's easy to cook. You need to ensure that you season both the inside and the outside because we're doing a whole chicken. All right. So you get some seasoning inside as well and on the underside. Then we'll go ahead and get in some onion and garlic. All right, and now we're gonna just add a little paprika. Just to color it up a bit. Next, we're gonna add our jerk seasoning. All right, and I'm using the mild jerk seasoning, all right? Because it's, it's up to you if you wanted to use the, the spicy, but I'm using the mild because not everyone can, you know, deal with the, the spiciness. So go ahead and you and you just make sure you season the entire chicken. 
sure you get the jerk seasoning on the inside as well. Overall, you just have to ensure that the entire chicken is seasoned properly, both inside and out, because it's a whole chicken. Well, Cornish hen. The same applies if you're doing a regular sized chicken. Okay, and what I normally do as well, I'm gonna put some jerk marinade on. And I'm gonna let this sit. You, you can make it sit overnight, preferably sit overnight, that would be good. That would be the best. But if you just have a few hours, you could just go ahead and let this sit for a few hours covered so that it can absorb or it can marinate properly. All right, so in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this for about an hour and then I'll be back to show you exactly the rest of the process. Okay guys, so this is my process. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to the um, to the tray. All right, now that water will create a steam that will prevent my chicken from drying out, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken on my Cornish hen, I keep saying chicken, my Cornish hen on my rack, all right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the oven and go ahead and get our chicken, our Cornish hen done, all right? Now, during the process, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna baste it a little bit with a little bit of, um, jerk seasoning mixed with a little bit of ketchup. All right, so let's go ahead, get this in the oven and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so here we have our Cornish hen in our oven above our water bath, all right? So the rack will prevent the, um, we'll make sure that air flows through the entire chicken and we'll have an even coating around the chicken because if you notice sometimes you're cooking chicken or baking chicken or and you see that the bottom part of it is white and the top part has a nice golden color we'll prevent that from happening by using the rack all right so i'll be back to show you exactly what it looks like when it's done okay guys so this is what our chicken looks like i mean our cornish hen well looks like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and baste it. And this is a mixture of ketchup and jerk seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and baste our chicken, put it back in the oven and have it complete the process. Okay guys, and there you have it. Quick and easy jerked Cornish hen. All right. It's properly cooked, cooked all the way through. And you have that nice jerk charring on the, on the outside. And it is moist as you can see and very flavorful. It is not dried out. 
is perfectly moist. All right, so there you have it. Jerk Cornish hen made easy. And there you have it. Jerk Cornish hen made easy. Now, if you gain any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. All right, if you do your jerk cornish in another way, drop in the comment section so we could discuss it. And if you'd like for us to do any other recipes, just go ahead and drop it in the comment section and we'll be sure to get to it. All right, and until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.